it's Jamiko Stevens and today I'm gonna be doing a chit chat get ready with me I'm gonna be doing a neutral look with a bow lip I think I want to go red or purple not quite sure but we're gonna get into this beat okay we're gonna get into it I see my skin is looking good okay no pimples so I'm gonna be using the um, Garnier skin active this stuff to clean my brushes. I didn't have time to clean my brushes, but I'm gonna wipe them down before I touch my face because I ain't trying to break out. So I'm just gonna put it on a little napkin and wipe the brushes off as I go. I'm gonna chit chat with y'all because I feel like I need to vent. I don't know where this conversation going, but we need to vent. 2018 has taught me a lot about people that I've been talking to. Like, I was watching that little video that um, Nicki Minaj did, and she was like, guys, don't come up to her and approach her. I have that same thing. Like, guys do not come up to me and approach me. They just don't. And before, I was thinking, like, maybe it's me, maybe, you know, but maybe it's just them. You know, maybe some, some people aren't comfortable enough just coming up to somebody to talk to them. But... Still, like, shoot your shot, okay? It's 2018, about to be 2019, and you scared to talk to people. Like, I want to ask y'all something. Do y'all think it's appropriate for a girl to approach a guy? I would never approach a guy. I feel like that's his job to approach, you know? I don't know. Some people might think differently. Like, I don't know why, but I always find myself in relationships where I'm always helping him when it's supposed to be the other way around, like, or us helping each other. Like, I always find myself in relationships where it's not equal. And I could say 2018 has taught me what it means when you are in a relationship with somebody and you're not equally yoked. Not equal at all. Don't date people you are not equally yoked with. Which means if you ain't went to college, don't, don't approach me. I'm sorry. I see if you couldn't afford to go to college so you had to have like other things. But for those people who out there like, oh, college ain't for me and they never went and tried it, at least try to go to college. And if it ain't for you, then yeah. But I can't even ask you why you didn't want to go to college because you're giving me some excuse on why college ain't for you. How you know it's not for you if you ain't never went? I'm just saying, I'm just saying y'all. But yeah, I always find myself in these relationships where I'm helping the person more than they are helping me. It's supposed to be an equal thing, you know? I mean, I'm a caring and giving person. I can't help that and I don't wanna change that because that's what makes me me, you know? And then you always have that one ex that's always coming, trying to come back to you, trying to feed you like some type of fairy tale story about y'all being together. But we both know he ain't consistent, honey. We both know he ain't consistent. He ain't never been consistent. He ain't gonna be consistent. I don't wanna blame it on this generation, but it seems like to me, it's more popular to be somebody baby mama than their wife. I'm like, y'all got kids and whatever, but what's the ring, where the ring at? Like, where is the ring? Like, nowadays guys want the relationship without the commitment. Like, no, I'm not gonna sit here and just have babies by you and you don't, I don't even know what this is. They say, oh, I wanna have kids by you, but, um, Okay, I'm sure you do, but what else? You don't want no relationship, you just want kids. You better go find somebody else for that one. You need to go find somebody else who gonna like that little line you telling. Cause it ain't for me. And then, it's also those guys that want you to take care of them. Like, no, I'm not finna be your mom. I'm not in this relationship to be your mom and take care of you and to stroke your ego. Like, no, 
Y'all just don't understand. I, I, I really, really want to like meet someone who's on my same, on my same wavelength, like my same mindset. Like, I don't know what it is. And then you helping somebody and they have the nerve to be ungrateful and tell you what you need to do. Like, I don't get it. I just don't get it, y'all. And I am not using no freaking apps to meet people. I know I like meeting people face-to-face, -face, interactions, good conversations. Let's talk about what's your future goals. And that's another thing. If you ask a guy what his future goals is and he's like, oh, you, you getting too deep. Honey, I'm not dating for fun. I'm dating for a purpose. Like, if you ain't got no future goals, then that's a problem. That's a serious, serious problem. Don't try to brush the conversation off. Like, these are the type of conversations we supposed to be having, not what you're doing, how was your day. Like, those are good, but that's not every single conversation. Like, I need to know what page you on. Like, if we even in the same book. Like, I don't get it. I don't get it. And I've had my first experience with dating a narcissist. If y'all have ever dated a narcissist, then y'all know it's a whole nother ball game. Oh, another ball game. They're overly confident and they're not doing anything with their life. They're bitter. Like, I don't get it. Manipulating. Very manipulating. And they put on this whole facade for the outside world, but when it's when you're in private, act like a whole different other person. Narcissist. And then what is up with guys dating girls? Like I've had experience where I dated guys and they got jealous. Like I don't understand. I ain't the bragging type. I don't boast. I don't say none of this. I got this. I got that. No, I'm going to help you. We're going to help each other. You know, you ask me for your help. I ask you for your help. We got each other back like that. But why are you getting jealous? Don't date, like, word of advice, don't date a guy that's jealous of you. If you see any signs of jealousy or bitterness or he don't like women or he talked down on his ex-girlfriends, don't date him. Cause honestly, it's not just his ex-girlfriend, it's women that he don't like. So, his problem run deeper than his ex-girlfriend. Believe you me. I can't stand when guys do that. Talk about their ex-girlfriend. Um, was that supposed to make me feel better that you're talking about a woman? No. Not at all. I'm going to have a full video on, like, my whole recap of my 2018 this was just the tip of the iceberg, y'all. Just a tip. Um, I have already have my, even though it's still 2018, I still, I have my 2019 goals up and I'm ready to accomplish them. Ready to pay off these student loans, live a better life. I'm trying to hustle and grind and get it. Get it. Okay, y'all. Y'all see it take me about nine minutes to do my eyebrows. This one over here looking a little thick. Mm. I think that's good right there. I think that's good. 
take this my Sephora put some of it on the tip of my beauty blender but yeah my YouTube is growing y'all I am so happy that y'all are liking the content that I'm putting out. I'm doing 31 days of December, trying to get y'all more content, but good content. And that's another thing. Like I had experiences where guys were fascinated with what I did. They didn't actually want to get to know me. Like they were more fascinated with my YouTube channel. Like I'm just talking to a camera, like I'm sharing my life, yeah. But you could do it too. You could just talk to a camera, just like I'm doing, and upload your videos on your YouTube. They just, I don't know. It's like guys that I'm dating, when they find out I do YouTube, it's like, oh, that's a come up. Let me see how I can make a check off of her YouTube channel. Let's create a couple's YouTube channel. Like, not too much. I don't want it to be too, too much. But yeah, like, I've dated guys where they were more interested in what I did than who I was. Like, why I feel like you interviewing me? Not asking me questions about what my future goals are, what, what have I, what major I did in college or none of that. They asking, so when did you start your YouTube channel? Oh, really? You get paid off of your YouTube channel? Like, I'm like, is this, does, I feel, I don't know. And my YouTube channel is not even that big. Like, I'm like, I wonder people who have millions and thousands of followers, do they have to go through this? Like, I appreciate all my supporters and, you know, but do people with big YouTube channels have to go through this when they're dating too? Like, I don't get it. Maybe I should stop telling people what I actually do and just be like, I just graduated. I went to school for communications, you know, just trying to find a job, you know. Because I'm putting the base brown on. So now I'm going to go in my corner with, I don't even know what it's look going. I thought it was gonna be a neutral. It could still be a neutral, but let me try, um, some glitter. Living in Atlanta, it's been an experience. I've been learning a lot about myself and what I want out of life. It's not easy, but I'm taking it one day at a time, you know. I did not know that uploading every day was gonna be this difficult. It's not hard, it's just you have to set a schedule. And sometimes life doesn't allow you to set a schedule. You have to work with life, you know? Wipe the rest of this makeup off my face. This eyeshadow that don't fail. So we can put the makeup on. All right, we good, y'all. Feel like eventually the love of my life will come and sweep me off my feet and I'm just gonna say thank you Jesus thank you somebody that actually understands me and gets me you know this was my summer color so it's kind of darker than what my skin is because I don't got pale again since I done moved to Georgia but you know what we gonna make it work. Yes, we are. We are going to make it work. It has to oxidize. So, 
it'll get lighter. It just goes on a little dark. Oh yeah. Gotta blend it down to your neck. Okay, so right now I am home by myself, which is a perfect time to record. That's why I'm recording these videos. Um, I just got a package from Influencer and Garnier. I love um, using Garnier, like this right here. Garnier. They sent me some. Um, they sent me some hair products. So y'all will see me unboxing and trying those. Um, where's my eyeshadow going? I don't know y'all. It don't look too bad. That's what I was looking for. But yeah, family is coming over today from Florida so we'll all be together for Christmas that's why I have to upload these videos so y'all have something to watch Oh, and I'm wearing my Jealous Diamond Boutique hair wrap. I'll leave the link in the description so y'all can get y'all hair wraps and make sure y'all laces are laid to the gods. But yeah. This is looking like a red lip. Cause purple might offset it cause I'm wearing a pink shirt, but. Outline the lips, baby. Outline the lips. Yeah. And then One of my jobs, when I applied to one of the jobs, one of them was paying $10 an hour and the other one was paying $8.50. The one that was paying $10 an hour was not open anymore. So I had, I went ahead and I applied for the one for $8.50. Cause like, I just needed a quick job. But tell me why when they hired me for the one for $8.50, they were trying to work me for the job that paid ten dollars. I'm like, oh no, y'all not finna do that. Y'all not finna do that. Um, I think now is the perfect time for me to just focus on myself and what I, where I want to be in life, and then the rest will follow. Cause I believe you are what you attract. So I'm still trying to get my life together, and I'm gonna attract people who still trying to get their life together. That's just what it is. Okay, let me stop feeling myself. I'm not conceited. I'm conceited. I got a reason. Shout out to Remy Ma and Papoose. I love them. All right, y'all. Now I'm gonna curl my hair. Hopefully I don't burn myself. Cause ain't nobody got, oh, I got lipstick on there. Anybody got time for it? Anybody got time for that? Nobody got time for that. So I'm gonna focus most of the curls in the front. Cause you know what? The back I feel like it's gonna fall anyway. But I'm gonna do some in the back, but most of them are gonna be in the front. 
that's see if I can straighten this out up at the top. This needs to lay down. You need to out. Lay down. Okay, that's good right there. I don't want it to look too flat. Alright y'all, so this is my get ready with me chit chat. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you have any video requests, please leave them in the comment box below. Also, anything I mentioned in this video will be in the description box below. Make sure you comment and subscribe and I'll talk to you loves later.